Medicare Part B premiums announced for 2025, as well as the IRMA brackets. What should you be planning for? I've got that more coming up. My name is Mike Bernard. I'm the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. Whether you're in retirement, on the heels of retirement, or retirement's still a long way off, you need to have eyes on what's the Medicare premium? What's the monthly premium that you're going to pay for your Medicare? Now, you know that when you retire and, and enroll onto Medicare, you're going to make the biggest health insurance decision of your life. You're going to go with traditional Medicare or original Medicare, which is part A, part B, part D, and then a supplement, okay? Part A is typically at no additional cost. You've been paying that through taxes throughout your career for most people. Part B is gonna come at a monthly premium. I'm gonna share that amount here in a second, but you could pay a surcharge if your income is above, the, uh, above certain thresholds. Part D as well, you'll pick a plan for your prescription drug coverage. Uh, there will be a monthly premium and you could pay a surcharge there. And then your supplement is what's going to uh, you know, help you cover all of the out-of-pocket expenses and put limits in there and, and so on. And that has a monthly cost as well. So that's original Medicare traditional Medicare, or you're going to go with Medicare Part C, Medicare Advantage, where you're going to pay the Part B premium, but you're actually going to select a Part C plan through a private health insurance company. And that plan may have its own premium. It may not have its own premium. There might be drug coverage within that plan, or you might be getting drug coverage somewhere else. But, but original Medicare, traditional Medicare, or Medicare Advantage, Medicare Part C. Either way, You've got to be planning ahead for that when you're building your retirement projections and seeing, well, how much do I need to save up for retirement? Am I on track? But then you also need to be very aware of what both the, the, uh, the increases are to that Medicare so that you're planning ahead for the right amount and very aware of your tax picture because it's your tax picture that's going to determine how much you pay for your Medicare Part B and Part D, whether you're going to pay the base rate or a surcharge via something called IRMA, an income-related monthly adjustment amount. So every year, around this time of year, CMS uh, re releases what, their, what the base rate is, what the new cost will be for the next year for Medicare Part B. Guys, it's actually a pretty, percentage-wise, it's a pretty big increase. For 2024, the base rate for Medicare Part B was $174.10. That's before IRMA. That was a base rate per person, what you're going to pay monthly for Medicare Part B. What's it going to in 2025? $185 bucks even, flat. $185 per person. You might look at that and say, okay, $10 increase. Not that bad. It's a 6% increase, guys. That's a 6% increase. And when you look at overall inflation and, and how those numbers have been coming down, you might be scratching your head. I'm scratching my head saying, wait a second, why, why, did, why did the Medicare premium go up at such at almost double the rate of overall inflation? And, and yeah, that's, that's, that's frustrating. Especially when you look at, well, if you're on Medicare, you're likely on Social Security. Social Security only got a 2.5% increase to it for 2025. And based on the average Social Security, that increase is eh, 40 to $50 a month. And yeah, you're going to see $10 coming right off of that going to, uh, to, to Medicare because of that increase. So frustrating increase that we're seeing in Medicare Part B premiums for 2025. But not just that, also released was the IRMA, the, the Income Related Monthly Adjustment Amount brackets that determine, well, are you just gonna pay that base rate for your Medicare Part B and Part D, by the way, or are you gonna have to pay a surcharge? So that, that depends on what your income was for the prior, prior year. So we're talking about Medicare for 2025. So the prior year would be 2024. The prior, prior year would then be 2023. What was your modified adjusted gross income? in 2023. Take a look here at this at this graph at this at, at this chart that if your income for for married filing jointly was less than 212,000 and and again you're in retirement so this is most people if your modified adjusted gross income is less than 212,000 then you're going to pay that base rate of 185 
dollars per month per person. Now, the IRMA bracket for 2024, this was 206. So we're seeing a $6,000 increase in the in the Irma bracket. So that's an increase in the in the Irma bracket of less than 3% and again the increase you're getting in your Medicare Part B, Part B premium is almost 6%. So guys, this is inconsistent here. But but that's what that's what the bracket is. If your income, modified adjusted gross income is just $1 above, $1 above that 212 threshold, then you're going to be in that next Irma tier. That's a pretty small window from 212 to 266, you're going to pay an increase in a, an additional $74 per month per person, by the way. So if you're married, that's each of you will pay that 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 extra amount for the for that entire year. If your income's above 266 but below 334, then you're going to pay an extra you're basically going to pay double and you can see the thresholds there. Now, this is you paying more for your Medicare Part B, you're not getting anything extra, you're not getting better coverage, you're just paying more and getting the same thing. This is why we talk so much when we're when we're talking about comprehensive financial planning. Uh, tax planning, being aware of your tax picture and, and how your taxes will influence the rest of your financial life. So tax planning, one of the areas of your financial life, can impact your protection plan, health insurance, right? That's another area of your financial life, can impact your cash flow, present financial position, another area of your financial life, which influences your, your investments and your retirement plan, two other parts of your financial life because these dollars in retirement need to last as long as you need them to, they need to be invested accordingly. So, so guys, when we talk about you need to take a comprehensive approach to your finances, that's what we mean. Little decisions actually become big decisions and they connect to multiple multiple areas of your financial life. So there you have it guys, not great news on the Medicare uh, cost front for 2025 and, and, and the IRMA threshold. So if you are in retirement, what does this mean for you? Well, you need to, you need to update your budget if you're working off of a, of a budget or at least be aware that the cost for your Medicare Part B is going up. I would say significantly, 10 bucks a month, but as a percentage significantly, and you've got to weigh that with the amount of increase you're going to get from, from your social security, your cost of living adjustment. And then you need to be doing that tax planning on an ongoing basis, but certainly for this year and for 2025 with your, with your CFP to ensure that you avoid IRMA. If, if possible, make sure that you avoid IRMA so you're just paying that base rate and not the surcharge. That's for those of you on Medicare and in retirement. For those of you that are still planning for retirement, and this is still maybe a decade or five years away or, or even longer, you need to be doing that proactive tax planning work. How can you avoid IRMA, right? Should you be funding your the Roth side of your 401k? Should you be doing Roth conversion? Should you treat your HSA as a retirement tool instead of a short-term medical expense savings account? That sort of thing. So, so one, you need to be doing that proactive tax planning because during your career, that's where you can set yourself up to avoid IRMA out there when you retire. But then the second thing that you need to do is you need to update this Medicare rate into your retirement planning software. If if for if if your retirement plan and your retirement projection has always had uh, okay, well in retirement I'll spend this much and then my health insurance will be a little bit above that. Now now you've got you, you know what the number is. So you need to update what you're projecting Medicare costs will be in retirement so that you can plan appropriately. Work with your certified financial planner on that. If you don't have a CFP on your team, you can contact one on my team. Find us online, Corhorn.com. That's Corhorn with K, wisemoneyshow.com. You can find us there as well, or send us an email, info at Corhorn.com. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.